This is a six minute backstretch video set to Chopin's Raindrop Prelude. To begin, we'll come into tabletop position, cat cows, inhale as you arch your back into a cow position, exhale, round your back to cat. Make sure to keep your spine elongated even though you are coming into these back bends and rounded backs. Good, increasing the space between each vertebra. Staying in tabletop, we'll come into a quadratus lumbarum stretch next. You'll look over your shoulder at your foot as you exhale and then inhale back to center. So you're trying to bring your whole shoulders over as you take a look, not just moving your head and neck. This stretches the QL, which is at the base of your spine, diamond shaped muscle there. Next, exhale back into child's pose, lengthening your arms forward, anchoring those fingertips onto the mat, and exhaling your hips all the way back, stretching them towards your heels, lengthening your spine. Coming into gate pose next, set yourself with your hand, knee, and heel in one line, and lengthen your top arm and heel in opposite directions. And switching to the other side. You also have the option of putting a yoga block underneath the supporting hand if that helps to align your spine better for this position. Next we'll move into a low lunge and hamstring stretch. So step one foot forward between your hands. Again you can use yoga blocks underneath your hands if that helps you reach the ground. And then on the exhale Move your hips back until your front leg straightens just a bit. Feel the stretch in the hamstring and then switch to the other side. We'll keep it dynamic for now, so not holding either the lunge or the hamstring stretch for too long. Next, let's move into a knee plank position, abs tight, and exhale back to child's pose. Just alternating between those two positions. Inhale forward to knee plank, abs tight, exhale back to child's pose. Now you can continue with that version or you can progress to a slightly more difficult version as you inhale forward to high plank and exhale back to downward facing dog. Good, make sure to keep a neutral spine for both positions and you're hinging from your hips. Good, let's repeat the low lunge and hamstring stretch now. See if you can get a slightly deeper stretch this time now that you've done the downward facing dogs if you've chosen that option. Good, switching to the other side, inhale forward to that low lunge, exhale back to the hamstring stretch. Good, keeping your back in neutral. Now let's go ahead and repeat the knee plank and child pose stretch, or ab engagement here. Good, inhale forward abs, exhale back, stretch your back, good. And again, you have the option to come up to the high plank and exhale back to the downward facing dog. Keeping your abs engaged will help take some pressure off of your shoulders and wrists. Okay, next let's come into a baby cobra position all the way onto the ground. Align your he the heels of your hands to the sides of your chest and lift your chest just an inch off the ground for that baby cobra. Engage your abs and exhale back to child's pose. Good, now let's move into a vinyasa if you like. You can also ch stay in that baby cobra child's pose series if you like, but here we're inhaling forward to plank, exhaling halfway or all the way down into chaturanga, inhale to up dog or to cobra, and exhale back to downward facing dog. Up to you which version you choose. Okay, and as we're winding down here, you're going to come onto your back and do a supine spinal twist, tee out your arms, shift your hips to one side of the mat, and then 
turn your knees, stack them on top of each other towards the other side of your mat. This keeps your back spine in neutral. And go ahead and do the other side as well. And to wrap up this stretch series today, we'll come into an assisted bridge. So if you have a yoga block, you can place it widthwise underneath your sacrum, not your lower back, not your seat, but your sacrum, the tailbone area. And that should feel pretty restful for you, not like there's any tightness in the back. You can just allow yourself to rest in the block. You can also just lift your legs straight up to the air and set the feet against the wall if you don't have a block. All right, and great work. Thank you so much for joining me in this stretch series today.